Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to see how to create online surveys or quiz using PowerPoint and Microsoft Forms. As shown in this example, this online quiz form has three questions with three answers each. For any question, user can select the answers using radio button and then submit the form. Later we can see its matrix like number of responses, average score, and also you can export these results into excel file. To create this kind of forms, you must use latest version of powerpoint, must have an active account of microsoft office and obviously you must be connected to internet. So with these prerequisites, let's get started. So to create online forms, you must use microsoft forms add-in. So let's go to insert tab and then click on get add-ins option. You can search for forms if it's not listed here already and then click on add. Next click on continue and then it will add a window requesting URL for the online form. So to get this URL, you must create an online form using Microsoft forms. Again, it's worth mentioning you must have Microsoft Office account to use this option. Let's click on Microsoft forms hyperlink here and it will automatically take us to official page of Microsoft forms. Here you can click on new form to start from scratch or even on new quiz or even you can click on more templates to explore many inbuilt forms like new product survey, customer feedback survey, event registration, birthday party invitation, nomination survey and few more. Let's click on new quiz option here and then see how to create an online form right from the beginning. On top. You will find option to add main heading or subheading or description to your online form. You can also insert custom images to beautify your forms if required. Once done, let's click on add new button and you will be provided with list of options like choice, text, rating, date and few others. Since we are creating an online quiz form, let's click on choice and that will add first question into our online form. Here you can type in your question and below you will find two options added by default. You can add more options using this add option button and type in your different answers for above question. So among these three answers, any one answer will be correct and when you select correct answer against that option, Microsoft Forms will use this to record correct responses. You can use this option to display custom messages when any answer is selected or you can use delete option to remove any answer choices. Below you will find a provision to allot points to each question. Let's assign 20 for example and you have an option to allow multiple answers. If you enable this option, you must set multiple choices as correct answers. So please remember this point. And if you want all the questions to be answered, just enable required option here. Let's click on add new option and then select choice to add another question into this form. One thing to notice is few settings will be carried forward from your previous question but by default it will add only two options for every new question. So just follow the same steps as before and fill in all necessary details. Let's create one more question following the same steps. Similarly, you can make use of this add new option and add as many questions you need. Once your form is ready, you can click on preview to check how this form looks on computer and also on mobile device. You can go to responses section and see how many users have provided their responses and what is their average score. You can also export all these results into excel file as well. You can go to theme option on top and apply any pre-existing themes to beautify your form. Once everything is set, click on send option and here you will find the URL of this form that needs to be added into powerpoint. Just copy and paste it into the box provided and then click on insert to add this form into powerpoint. Let's enlarge this form to our slide size. 
If you have any questions heading in this form, you can use this right side scroll bar to review them. Now you can select any answers right inside the PowerPoint. Let's quickly select some random answers to each questions. And then click on submit. Once done, you can go to responses section in Microsoft Forms and you can see one response has been recorded with zero average scores. Means all my answers were wrong. If you come to first question, correct answer is set to second answer, but my response was for third answer. Since there is only one response and that to it was wrong, it shows zero responses were answered correctly. Similarly for second question, correct answer is set to third answer, but my response was for second answer. So again, zero responses were answered correctly. Similar logic holds good for third question as well. And that is the reason every score is zero because of only one response and that too answered incorrectly. As I said before, you can export all the response results into Excel file. So hope I have covered all important points in this topic. And that brings to the end of this video. Please comment below and let me know if you have any concerns or questions. I will be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.